In the last two years, seafarers, truck drivers and airline workers have endured months of quarantine, travel restrictions and complex COVID testing and vaccine requirements, all to keep global supply chains moving during the pandemic. But now global transport heads have written an open letter to raise awareness of the issues the transport industry is facing. It is both a plea for help and a warning that if things don't change, the global transport system might collapse. In their letter, the international shipping, air and road transport bodies have said that their workers, some 65 million of them, are reaching their breaking point. In the last year, due to the surging COVID-19 cases, most of them, from truck drivers to ship and air crews, have been stranded for months on end in unpredictable places with no way of going home or changing teams. Exhausted workers are quitting and all transport sectors are seeing a shortage of workers. Unequal access to vaccines cause another barrier in completing their jobs. In light of this, the world transport bodies are demanding that countries work together to ensure free movement of transport workers. Priority access to WHO-approved COVID vaccines and a globally, global mutually recognized vaccine certificate. They're also demanding that the WHO and the International Labour Organization raise this issue at the United Nations General Assembly. If things continue as they are, it could, for example, worsen current challenges with food and fuel supply in the UK. In the early stages of the pandemic, when the world shut its borders, flights stopped, which made it impossible to move workers from one part of the world to another and swap crews. At one point at the peak of the crisis, 400,000 seafarers were unable to leave their ships for close to two years. Many even extended their contracts just so that supplies of food, fuel, medicine and other consumer goods could keep flowing around the world.